All right, that's all done. And then I back stitch it for a good inch here, give it a little bit extra sturdy stitches in there. It looks good on the other side. Good enough anyway, this side will be against his leg. I gotta work on that binding problem. I might have to trim it back a little bit more or uh, I'll probably stretch it some. Other than that, it fits pretty good. My first cowboy style holster I made, so it's kind of an experiment. Of course, he's lefty. Plenty of clearance. As far as your hand goes. I just got to work on that right there. I'll have to trim this edge up some. Trim it or stretch it, one or the other. Alright, I'm going to trim this down and then we'll get to uh, shaping this back piece. There's all different kinds of blades and stuff that you can use for this. I'm just using a regular razor knife. I'm going to take it close but not too close. get a good clean cut. Don't cut it back until your stitches are all complete and everything. Do one good line on there. Don't cut and stop. Go all the way through. Pass all the way through if you can. This is the hardest part right here is just stopping it there. So I'll turn my case around. I'll start here and cut back. All upside down here. I'll be lucky if I don't cut myself. That's what you get when you don't get a clean cut. Not too bad though. Cut down nicely. Next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to cut this piece out. And then I'll just continue to look at it and trim pieces back and then I'll figure out whatever shape I want here. Then I'm going to come down thin and then bring it wide. Bring it out wide around this way I can cut my band. Alright so what I've done now is I've cut these pieces loose down to approximate line to here and the same thing on this side and I've marked where I want my band to go that's going to come across the front. I just took one of these here screwdrivers turned the end down a little bit on my sander, sharpened it up. I got two more holes to go. It's kind of rough me out of shape here. and It's not quite uniform, but I'm just working my razor knife around to cut it. Okay. I might have to alter a little bit. Like I said, it's not exactly uniform, but I'll wait to trim the bottom until I cut my pieces in here and We'll see what happens, you know. I've never done this before. Just something for fun. I'm not sure if you can quite see those pencil marks or not, but that's my next cut, so I'm just going to kind of cut that. There it go slow, make sure I don't mess it up. Alright, there's one. Kind of sucks when you stop and start because it always changes the pattern of the cut. You can see a little nip up there, but... This is the idea. Just trying. Maybe pin it down or glue it down. We'll see. But this will also, I'm going to put another slip back here on the back, will allow me to get a belt through here and out through the other side. And I'll be able to carry this weapon too. But I have to carry it on the back side of my back back here, on the small of my back. I'm thinking about decorating this a bit with my wood burning kit. I don't know if it'd be a good idea or not. Just around the edges, something to add some character. I was going to punch this out for 22 shells, but I don't have quite the right hole cutter, I don't think. I got to check that out. Well, I don't have the right color wang to go with it, but I added a piece for up here. 
that'll wear off with time. Help hold it in the holster. Um, without this piece, it just it moves too much through here. So I may have to just go in and attach this here to close up the belt loop for this side. I don't know, but it carries good. Draws decent. It's not too tight, not too loose. So make you one. Not a bad hobby. Save a lot of money making these. It's a hundred dollar holster, or maybe seventy five where it's my first one. Well, I'm just going to leave it like it is. If Caleb wants me to do something to it, then I'll change it to his specifications. Um, I think that'd be best. I think it looks a little bit plain the way it is, but I think it looks fairly decent. First one. I messed around with a wood burner and just nothing that I really trust myself to a pattern on. Uh, I punched a hole for the 22, but that'll just stick out too far. And it's not the easiest to get out so anyway that's what I'll do just leave it like that it actually goes in much better now that it's been drawn a few times alright y'all I ended up dyeing this up Caleb likes it a lot better dyed he takes after my tastes I like the darker leather too um, nothing to it to dye it up just get your thing a dye your little brush wipe it on this one's a gel and if you leave it on too long it'll go real dark in places so you want to put it on wipe it off put it on wipe it off there isn't even time enough to do the whole thing all at once just do sections of it but add some character to it makes it look a little bit older hit that like button y'all hit that subscribe button if you want more videos this kind of work coming to you and uh, appreciate y'all watching